guys, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today, uh, I'm giving a uh, Sims 4 Werewolf's Honest Review. Um, now, spoiler alert, it's going to be good. Because, like, everything from this pack is really good, in my opinion. You saw from the live stream, um, and you saw from other videos, etc, etc. Um, like, the trailer. Again, really cool. Um, now... My expectations, they were quite average, and uh, my average expectations got the best of me. I'm going to <laughs> be honest with you. So, we have Michael Lambert here. He's a young adult. He's a werewolf, um, and you'll see here this red glow around his body. Uh, if I go to the needs... You saw, you saw this from the live stream, so it's not going to spoil as much people as in regards. But uh, here we have uh, what it looks like for werewolves. Uh, we have this right here. Um, just like for vampires and spellcasters, we have a ranking system. Uh, we have werewolf abilities. We have uh, the needs. They are basically the same as our normal sims. We go to the abilities. This is what I really like about this pack. Is it's really similar to vampires, in my opinion. Um, now we have five ranks. We have uh, pup, runt, prime, veteran, and apex. Um, and there's five abilities per rank, so it's 25, which is really cool. Unlike vampires, there are no weaknesses. We have dormant uh, abilities instead. Which require, they don't require ability points. They require what's called a certain task. They, don't, they just require a certain task to be done. And once that task is done, you unlock that dormant ability. So again, it's really cool. Um, the only dormant ability I have unlocked is Transformation Mastery. You can transform into your uh, Werewolf Sim at any time. Um, and so that's really cool. Now we also have... Very similar to spellcasters. At the very top, we have Fury. You know from the live stream, you know what this is. Um, and you can already see from his body, um, it's really high. Once this gets higher, uh, your sim basically goes from sim to werewolf. Basically, it's like an animalistic meter. And uh, it's like the spellcaster charge from spellcasters from a magic, okay? Um, you know, you know what this is, okay. But, for shits and giggles, I'll go ahead and tell you, anyway. <laughs> um, so, over time, this goes up. Uh, no matter what you're doing, whether it be eating, sleeping, uh, pooping, taking a shower, uh, this goes up. No matter what. There are some abilities that allow you to decrease it, um... There are abilities that increase it more. <laughs> um, as well as temperaments. You know what temperaments are. There are a total of 18. Yeah, 18. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I forgot about that. But the temperaments are something that increase your fury. So I, uh, I have three. Uh, your werewolf can have up to four. Uh, uh, must be clean. Um, big bad wolf. And whacked with guilt. Uh, all these will affect your uh, fury. And they're kind of like curses uh, for spellcasters. But eh, not exactly. Um, now I'm going to show you guys something else. Oh, let's talk about the world. Uh, Moonwood Mill. Uh, you guys saw from the live stream. There's no need to see. There's no need, need to say it. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot speak for the life of me. <laughs> um, now, there are two werewolf packs that came with this. Um, you saw from the live stream. I'll go ahead and tell you anyway. We have the Wall of Things and we have the Moonwood Collective. Uh, they are the two packs. I'm part of the Wall of Things right now. Um, Rory Oakwell being the uh, leader of the pack. Uh... And here are the pack values. If you go, uh, if you uh, follow the values and do them correctly, your pack rank will 
increase. Um, if you go against the values, uh, you will actually lose your rank, get scolded by uh, Rory uh, or Christopher if you're part of the Moonlight Collective, uh, and you will eventually, uh, if you keep doing it, you will get uh, kicked out uh, of the pack. Um, so yeah, and eventually be able to take Rory's place, and you become you'll become the leader of the uh, pack. So um, so it's really cool. Um, so, yeah. Again, like I said, there are two packs. There are the Wild Fangs and the Moodle Collective. But, um, yes. Uh, and, uh, Rory is my best friend. Now, something else I like about the Werewolves pack is the way if a sim, if the Werewolf sim has a lot of theory, uh, their walk style is different. I'm gonna show you guys here. You see how he's walking like that? Um, there's Rory. Yeah, there's Rory. You see how he's walking like that, though? Now he's running out? Okay. But you see how he's walking like this? Uh, really unique walk style. He does this either in his human form or his lower form. I like it. Um, now, if the Sim is in his werewolf form, uh, or she is in the werewolf form, uh, the fury goes up faster than if they was not in their werewolf form. So I hope that makes sense as well. Um, if I click the ground, you get a few options, like uh, groom self, uh, scavenge ground and uh, sleep under the moon. Uh, these options will appear uh, if you have certain abilities. Um, uh, so again, really cool. And since I have the uh, the dormant ability that allows you to the transformation mastery, uh, I can transform to my werewolf form at any time. The transformation is really cool. Really, really, really cool. I'm not joking. Like, it really is cool. Room self. Uh, I like the room self option because uh, it's like, it's crazy. I, I, I love the animation. <laughs> and it solves your hygiene. Like, it's really cool. Um, Howl, which is straight up Howl. <laughs> okay, you know, you know exactly what that does. Uh, hunt for food. I like this. Uh, they basically just teleport out of the lot like you would expect and come back with some raw meat. So again, not much to say about that. Really cool. Uh, Werewolf pack, you can, you know, go to, uh, ooh, she just transformed. Interesting. Um, if I go right here, now you, you can do it on the pack leader or the hangout. So this is the Wild Fangs hideout. You can also, if you see a sign, I'll show you right here. Uh, you can also go on the Moonway Collective Hangout, which is way over here. Uh, and here is the leader of that pack. It's Christopher. Uh, Christopher Volkov, uh, which is also, believe it or not, the daughter of Rory Oklo, which is the leader of the Wild Things, so, um, that's interesting werewolf lore there. Um, and you know from the live stream, but like I said, for shits and giggles, I was gonna show you guys anyway, eventually, sooner or later, I was gonna show you guys, that is Greg, the lone wolf that's over here. Uh, if you investigate these warning signs, you come over here, um, and as soon as you look at these signs, Greg will appear. Um, now, believe it or not, I've actually seen what he looks like uh, in his human form. And he looks fancy. Like, he looks like a fancy sim, okay? Uh, he looks like he's wearing a tuxedo. He's wearing a top hat. He's crazy for a human sim. Uh, well, he's not human, but... 
when he's in his human form, he looks like, I don't even know what to say, he looks like a butler, okay, like a butler, like it's just, nah, crazy. Now again, like I said, as soon as you look at these signs, uh, he will appear. Um, just a side note, if you send a vampire or another werewolf up here, uh, Greg will automatically come and attack uh, your sim. If they are a werewolf or another, if they're another werewolf or a vampire, he will come and attack. Um, if you have Flad come up here, then uh, yes, uh, he will attack. So, uh, interesting werewolf lore, I know. Um, there you go, the textures didn't load in yet, it's fine. Totally a okay, not a fluke. The most annoying part about the pack, in my opinion, is Fury. Um, I hate how fast Fury goes up. Um, don't get me wrong, it's an interesting concept. I like the concept. Um, it's it's just how it's just annoying how fast it goes up. I wish it went up just a tad bit slower, but it's just so annoying how this, how fast this goes up. Um, even normal speed, I saw it go from very bottom. To like right here, like normal speed, uh, and that's just ridiculous, man. Like it goes up so quick, it just goes up so quick for my liking. Like honestly, like I just don't like this. Um, by the way, Michael Lambert is gonna be available on the gallery, so you guys can check him out. Uh, he will be he should be showcasing um, on there. Um, so yeah, uh, my account is ahr thirteen fifty eight. Um. You can look me up, and you'll be able to see all of my saved households. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but overall, I love the pack. It's great. Uh, it's really well made. Um, it does have its flaws. The only thing, my only complaint, really, is the theory and how fast it goes up. But this is nothing compared to like other things. Like honestly, like the temperaments are really good idea. I forgot to mention the temperaments actually. They're kind of like curses from spellcasters. I'm not going to end the video quite yet because I got to go over the temperaments real quick. So there's 18 temperaments that your sims can get, and the temperaments kind of affect your uh, fury gains. So, like, let's see here, like, uh, must be clean. So, poor hygiene equals fury gain, okay? Um, big bad wolf. So, uh, that's aggression. So, they're going to have to fight other uh, werewolves or any other sim for that matter, where, whether it being friendly or mean. Or Wack of Guilt. Wack of Guilt's like an interesting one. Um, they feel guilty of their actions sometimes, and they feel sad. And um, yes, that also increases their uh, theory gains. So uh, they can have up to four uh, temperaments at, at a time. Once again, all four of these uh, temperaments will affect your uh, theory. And like I said, theory is like, again, it's basically going from sim to werewolf. That's basically what this means. It's your animalistic meter. Uh, that's my nickname for it, okay? <laughs> um, so, low theory equals human, pretty much. Like, just human sim, even though he's not a human. He has all the normal interactions. He can... He's basically a normal sim, okay? And then when fury goes up, he's more wolfy. He's... He has a crazy walk style, like I showed you. Um, or she, if it's a she. Uh, so again, really cool, really crazy. Um, just like any other cult, you can create them from chaos. Better than Sims 4 Supernatural. But if you guys enjoyed, that's a great review from me. If you love werewolves, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you dislike about it in the comments as well. Peace out.